Well guys, Sunday morning back on the CUDA. Uh, start taking the front clip apart. Uh, I really hope this is not, I can't honestly say I've worked on a Chrysler before. But I really hope this is not the way they put it together in the factory because um, seven different size bolts. I got quarter, I had uh, 10 mils on this side, uh, 3 eighths on this side, half inch on the bottom. Nuts and bolts, nothing's caged. I don't know if that's was normal for these or you know the bolts stripped out when they took it apart previously and they just threw nuts and bolts in it um i mean there's those little slip-on cages that you can put on there that's probably be helpful because then you can adjust the fender tighten them down even the hinges have got nuts and bolts but i kind of was expecting it um this is what's going to irritate me is all this tar and you know, maybe it saved it, but probably didn't. It's probably just caused it to rust in between or in behind. Uh, yeah, see, I start seeing stuff like this on an inner fender. Well, I think it's time to start ordering some parts. That might not even be worth blasting it because there's not going to be anything left of it. They say they, f they filled this full of Bondo on the top. But, uh, that's all there is underneath is rot rust. Yeah, this is quite the licking stick. They didn't even take it apart to do it. That just won't do. Well, hopefully there's nothing structural here. Maybe there is. We'll see. Is that a patch? I don't know. It looks like it's been welded there. I don't think that's original. Alright, well, front frame, rear frame. Why not do it all? There you go, guys. Yeah, they didn't even, you know, they never had it apart, basically. There's your rockers, your paint stops there. They never took it apart to clean up in behind the fenders or anything. Not even try. So anyways, guys, uh, we're going to keep plugging away. Won't be much of a video today, I think. I'll just be doing this and then, you know, taking stuff off the firewall, the hoses. That should be it for today. Bring you back to something exciting. Reveals itself. Well, uh, Sunday afternoon, guys. We're going to shut her down. I think the consensus is, uh, after somebody mentioned it and I looked it up, uh, A833 is what this is. I guess it's a pretty common transmission for a uh, Dodge. That's what we're going to call it from here on out. An A833. So anyways, i got some more stripping going on here. Uh, got what I could off tonight. A couple of pieces there I need to boom, boom, get off. But getting inside there really sucks, so I quit. Um, that, to me, I think I'm going to cut the freaking header. Headers are probably junk anyways, but... But anyways, I hate cutting stuff to get it off, because you never know when you might need it again. But anyways, uh, we got that high-tech fuel line going on there. I think what I'm going to be doing... As it seems uh, this won't be going to the Media Blaster. I am the Media Blaster, it seems. Uh, Buddy has a, a sand blasting pot and a compressor and a yard for me to do it at. So, instead of stripping all the suspension off of it, I'm just going to take it there on its wheels because it's a lot easier to move it around in and out of the trailer and whatnot. And then blast all this lift it up as high as I can, get as much underneath as I can, get the firewall section done, then bring it back, then I'll take the wheels and the suspension off it, take those pieces separately. I can take the K-frame and the rear axle another day and blast them independently and any other pieces as I come up to them. But, uh, yeah, she's showing her signs of age. Not been well taken care of. But that stops now. We're going to do a good one for it. This, uh, what I, I may have jumped to conclusion when I said this was all Bondo. I started digging. It seems like it's some kind of a, uh, I've seen you guys use it, a, a polyester uh, filler that you would spray on. That's what it seems to be underneath there. It's just like a one layer, like someone's coated the whole thing and sprayed it. And then just didn't do that great of a job sanding it, obviously, because the uh, paint's peeling off that or it's flexing around, but. So this does have some real metal underneath it. It's a double line, so it's the outer part that's rotten. Question is, can I separate them? I don't know. 
maybe one of you guys knows. Because I was looking in the uh, parts breakdown, there's an inner and an outer fender area. So I could save the inner. It's the outer that's pretty crusty, but I'm going to blast it anyways and see what it looks like when I'm done. This side, yes, crusty as it is, isn't quite as bad as the other side. The other side is just so hammered with tar that it's uh, hard to tell until I start picking away at it. So anyways, guys, there's your uh, update for this weekend. We're going to call this part 3.5 because uh, I really didn't do anything serious on her here, the motor and everything. We got her stripped down to a reasonable level. We learned a little bit more about the, the CUDA's history. Have a good week, guys. See you next weekend.